attention like ladies and gents when I mention my name at the door. And I hope you pardon me, see by my card I am finding a world we may explore. You're in the dream I have drawn. You're like the wings for my song. I get a lift with your gift to no right from the wrong. Really strong. Our imagination will find this occasion to go where we know we belong. It was Harold's bedtime, but Harold couldn't sleep. Staring at the painting he'd made earlier in the day, Harold was bothered by something. suddenly knew what it was. All of the circles in his room were perfectly round, perfectly perfect. But the circles in his painting were lumpy and lopsided. Harold tried hard to fix his circles, but he couldn't seem to make them right. Harold was feeling like the very worst artist in the world until he decided if he copied the very best artists in the world he would be a much better painter. knew that to find the very best artist's paintings, he'd have to go to a museum. So, Harold drew a long, straight path. The museum didn't seem to be on the long, straight path. It didn't seem to be anywhere. Then Harold remembered. The museum was in the city. And to get to the city, he'd have to take a bus. to ride the bus. His coins weren't perfectly round. So Harold had to try again.
Since he had some time, Harold decided it would be a good idea to practice drawing circles. Harold's circles weren't exactly circles. But they made for good company. Art Museum, next stop. realized there'd be so many steps at the museum. balloons weren't perfect circles either, but they looked quite beautiful as they filled the sky. had never seen so many beautiful paintings all in one place. He couldn't wait to start copying them so he could be a very best artist too. was done, he realized he'd drawn a great big mess. He couldn't draw a circle, he couldn't draw anything. Now here was a painting made entirely of little dots. Lots and lots of dots. Harold was sure he could draw dots with no trouble at all. Just 
become a very best artist yet but he wasn't going to give up he just had to find the right painting to copy Lifesaver wasn't a perfect circle, but it kept him afloat. Harold was grateful for the helping hand and wanted to find a way to say thank you. had some free time. She decided to show Harold another way to make perfect circles. made a perfect circle.
greatly encouraged, Harold wanted to see if he could draw a perfect circle without any help. Now here was a perfect circle, Harold thought, right in the middle of a can of soup. Harold could simply copy that. still weren't perfect. But Harold was beginning to wonder if it really mattered. There were so many different ways to draw. So many different ways to look at things. Even the moon. <gasps> and Harold realized he had his own way of looking at things, too. Feeling very sleepy. Harold wanted to go home, but he couldn't see a way out. ready for sleep.
Harold still hadn't drawn a perfect circle, and maybe he never would. But his painting was his own and nobody else's. And that's what made it special. Harold dropped off to sleep, and his purple crayons dropped to the floor. <laughs>